So I'm probably going to be the only person on YouTube that's going to teach you about the three levels to an emergency account. And it's for a good reason. It's because for most people, level three is just not really that important or that necessary because most people will not get to level three status until much, much later on. But in this video, I'll teach you every single level from level one, level two, level three. And then you can actually build up to level three, which is massive, but it's actually a massive help also. And you'll understand why by the end of this video. Now, as always, guys, keep in mind, an emergency fund sounds kind of simple, right? It's just some money stashed on the side for emergencies, but it can take a long time to save up a decent amount. So in some cases, it's better to actually get away with not having that much. And in some cases, better to actually get away with having a ton, okay? So I'm going to break everything down in this video, so don't worry. Now, number one, level one, is what I actually call a starter pack, okay? Or a starter emergency account. And the whole idea is you're just starting out. And the whole goal is to save a good amount of money to actually able to start with one of your financial goals. For example, let's say one of my goals right now is to pay off all my debt. I have a bunch of credit card debt, student loan debt, car loan debt, okay? And I only have an extra like $500 every single month free to actually start saving up, okay? That's all I have. Now, if I try to, for example, save a full three months or six months of my expenses, it's going to take me so long to actually do that. And in that meantime, I'm going to be spending so much money on interest and on payments on these debts. Okay. So the best thing I do is say, basically, Hey, I'm going to save up 500 or a thousand dollars, put that money on the side as my starter emergency account. And with all the extra money I actually get now, I'm going to start paying off debt. And once you're basically debt free or you finish that goal, that's when you actually move over to level two. By the way, it could take you a long time to finish level one. To pay off your debt, it could take you anywhere from a year, two years, five years, 10 years. It all depends on how much money you actually owe. I know people that owe a lot of money, but one good idea is if you have student loan debt, well, you got to pay that. Credit card debt, you got to pay that. If you have a car loan, well, sell the car, buy something cheaper. If you have someone run the house about with a credit card, sell everything you don't need. And then basically just put it towards your credit card. If you have a normal job, you have some free time, use that free time to basically work some extra hours and use all that extra money to pay off debt and finish it a lot faster. Now I have videos on that too on this channel. So look up, for example, how to pay off debt. Tommy Bryson, you'll find a video and I'll teach you how to do it also. Now level two, is what I call a solid fund. Now, a solid fund is so solid that it can take you, for example, a while to build up and it can actually last you for 10 to 15 years at this current level of level two. Now, a solid fund is to build up a fund of what you usually hear, three months to six months worth of your expenses. And you only do that once you're debt free because at that point, you have a lot of extra money to build up to it a lot faster, usually in less than 12 months or so. Again, okay, if you're spending, let's say an average of $3,000 a month times six, that's around $18,000. It is a lot of money, okay? So it takes a while to actually build up that much money. So that's why I say be debt free first and then build up a solid fund. Now, how and why is this fund gonna last you 10 to 15 years? Because the answer is every emergency fund has its purpose. This fund is built up solid. So in case you have, for example, you got into a car accident, you lost a loved one, something happened, lost your job, okay? You're able to basically sustain for six months and that's more than enough because you also get unemployment. You'll be able to find a job a lot faster than that. It just basically gives you a good amount of room to basically sort out your life in case anything does go wrong but it's not supposed to be a crazy amount of money. So you can basically ignore everything. It's just a good amount of money to basically be solid in case anything happens. Now, while you're doing this, while you're done with your solid fund and you build it up to the max, the answer is you want to be basically investing money and trying to pay off your house and basically be debt free again, because you have, for example, usually a mortgage, you want to finish paying that thing off. And once it's done paying off, that's when you finally move to level three. And that's why level two can last 10 to 15 years because it's going gonna, gonna to take you like 10, 15 years to pay off your mortgage, not 30 years. I have a video on that too. Look it up on YouTube, how to pay off your home faster. Tommy Bryson, you'll find that too. It's how to pay off your home in 10 to 15 years also. Now, that's the fun. That's level two. That's where more, more most people actually get to and that's where most people stay. Level three is optional, 
but is super necessary depending on what your financial goals actually are. Now, level three basically says have between 12 months to 36 months, all the way up to 36 months, okay? Well, to 60 months, I mean. So that means anywhere from one year to three years to five years. Tell me, how can I justify having, for example, five years worth of emergency money? Well, it makes a lot of sense once you put things into perspective. The answer is, okay, a lot of people, their entire retirement account or retirement financial plan is basically, I'm gonna have a fixed amount of money in my portfolio. I'm gonna take out some money from that. I'm going to live from that. But let's say, for example, you have a huge market crash or something changes. Well, if you have five years worth of money, you're able to withstand any problems without having to go back to work. That's a massive deal. Or without having to take on, for example, full-time employment. That's a massive deal. So basically, this basically armors you even further. But there's a question here. How can I actually get to that amount? How long will it actually take me? The answer is, you work on this once you pay off the home. And once you pay off the home, you can say, hey, I'm gonna set aside 10 to 20% of my income to send it over there to build up that account little by little, little by little. And then in a few years or in a year or two, three, you're gonna have that full amount of money, okay? Just by doing that. Now, there is a question, tell me, if I leave that much money in there and I don't use it, there's going to be the inflation factor. My money is going to lose value. That is true. But you could just keep, for example, six months in liquid cash or 12 months in liquid cash and then have the other amount in tips. That's basically inflation protected securities, okay? That's basically a bond you actually buy that adjusts for inflation. So you always retain the exact value of what it's actually worth, okay? The reason I don't say put this money, for example, into the S&P 500 is because, hey, if your account crashes, that money is gonna crash. And the whole purpose of that money is to have it there to take care of you when you have, for example, massive market fluctuations and you need cash for a long time. Now, the good thing is most likely most people will not get the chance to actually use it, but just in case you do need it, you're gonna have it available to you. To say, hey, I can live five years, no problem, without having to go to work or having to get a full-time position is a massive deal. Now, this can mean, for example, let's say, for example, hey, you spend $3,000 a month, well, to have 12 months worth, that's gonna be 36,000. To have, for example, five years worth of that, that's a lot of money, okay? So that's something you have to consider. Maybe you don't want that much. Maybe you just have, for example, 12 months or two years or three years, it all depends. For me personally, when I think about retirement, I don't see retirement as, hey, I don't work anymore. I see that as, hey, I have this investment account, which gives me money. I have passive income streams, which give me money, which is great. But I also have, for example, my active income because I want to keep a job that I can work like part time and make some good money off of it, too. So this way, hey, I lost a lot of money in the market this year because it's actually down. I'm not going to try to sell or execute there. I'm going to take my passive income plus my active income. And if I need some extra money, I'll get it from the emergency account, put it in there, subsidize it, live. Um, two years later, it recovers. Now I'm able to actually take money out from that again, okay? That is the whole idea, that's why. So it can kind of sound like, Tommy, it's a big waste of money, big waste of time. But remember, when you actually work on this, it's when you're actually debt-free. When you actually have been investing for like 10, 15 years, when you actually have a paid off home. So by that point, you have a bunch of money in your investment account. And then once you don't have a mortgage anymore, and you're not spending like a third of your income, you're just sending over like 10, 20%. So you still have extra money to basically invest even more money. So it's not like you stop investing to do this. It's more like with your extra money, you basically just put it aside to build up a more um, solid emergency account. And by the way, this emergency account is called a prime or mature emergency account, okay? That's how you kind of built it up. So that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified. Um, and that's what I'm currently gonna start building up pretty soon, by the way. Thanks for watching. Up here is another video. Over here is my face. And as always, long-term team officially out. Let me know, where are you right now? Level one, level two, or level three? Peace.